last five years, I think, I've started using the sharing economy a lot more. I use Airbnb and Uber. Because I use uh, Airbnb, Booking.com, um, Uber, etc. I think with these different sharing economy platforms that it really is their responsibility to make sure that the people using it are protected. I do believe there's a risk of not getting what you pay for or getting what you expect and it would be nice to know if there was some sort of protection. Frankly speaking, I don't know now, but I would like to know if the, uh, you know, the sharing economy, they have some insurance covered for both parties. A lot of sharing economy clients become high profile very quickly. This often makes them a target for litigation. We have taken the approach to partner with our insureds to not only provide insurance coverage, but risk management and advice to help them prevent these issues in the first place. If you look at the risk perspectives, you can get under a share economy. Hotel chains, taxi companies, babysitting companies, and even parking applications that really take a requirement of very diverse underwriting. And so when we, when we look at sharing economies, we have to really understand that from an underwriting perspective, we need collaboration as much as anything. While at the core, the insurance needs appear similar to most clients, there is an element of tailoring and creativity that is required. Lloyds really provides a one-stop solution for sharing economies in that you have underwriters that have the ability to underwrite the full aspects of the risk. It's a market that's really growing. 15 billion today, 335 billion by 2025. I've talked with brokers and underwriters who together have developed an expert understanding of the needs of the sharing economy companies. It's a bright future and Lloyd's, as I said, is a natural partner. Sharing risk is actually in our nature and it's what we do every day.